Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick video demonstrating how the recent two updates that are in the in the Fantasy Grounds Unity test channel interact with each other. That's the dynamic lighting and the Pathfinder second edition release 18 rule set updates. So here we have a player character on the map with the dynamic lighting and line of sight enabled and they don't have any light source, they don't have any special vision, so they can see absolutely nothing, it's just completely dark. So whereas this is a dwarf, it actually removed their senses of dark vision. As soon as I add dark vision on, you can see that this dwarf now has dark vision, which is specifically in a, in a gray scale, so you know, they can move around and see and explore, and they're seeing everything in gray scale, because even though it's dark, they've got dark vision, and they just see, see it in gray. However, if they didn't actually have dark vision, um, how would the lighting and the Pathfinder second edition rule set actually interact here? So I'm going to remove dark vision from this character. Then I'm going to go to their inventory tab where they have a number of uh, lighting um, items, sorry, lit items actually available to them. And so what I'm going to do is these are currently all carried at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change them from carried to equipped. So I'm going to equip a candle and you can see that we get um, just a small kind of pulsing flame from the candle there actually around uh, lighting effect from uh, the character so the character can move around you can, can see the various features as they actually open up with with the candle um, obviously a candle is not a great light source so potentially they'd unequip uh, just carry the candle and they'd equip a torch so this is a little bit better. They see they can see, you know, further afield, um, you know, 20 odd feet um, bright light, another 20 feet dim light as they move around um, and explore the actual uh, map. Uh, for a, a little bit better distance, they can you know, equip a, a lantern, and which shows up and you know, a little bit further and shows the various light lighting there. If you had dark vision and an actual uh, item equipped, so I'll just carry the torch, put dark vision back on for this dwarf. It'll help if I actually put it in the in the vision rather than the special movement field and you can see I don't know how well you can see that perhaps I'll just swap it for a candle so you can get a better idea so there's the grayscale of the dark vision and when you equip a light source then you see the actual light source as well the colors coming in of the background with that actual light source equipped so if I flick to a torch now you can see that that the actual the character still has dark vision outside of the the area of bright and dim light so they can still see everything that's going on there but they actually get the proper kind of colors tinted slightly for the torchlight within the um, area of the actual the lit item that they're carrying so how does this actually functionality tie together with the the lighting effects and the actual uh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition Release 18 functionality. So you might see that there's little A's available next to the items here that basically says that there's automation available. Um, when this, you know, when this item is equipped, it will update some PC data. And the way this is set up is using the effects for lighting, so such as um, you know, light 20 torch. Um, but it's also using it with the automation that's available in the Pathfinder 2nd Edition rule set release 18. I'm showing the automation here by default you wouldn't actually see this but basically this is saying we've got an effect of type item so this means it's an effect that's tied to an item so when we equip it the effect is applied and the effect that will be applied is light colon 25 torch. So that's actually just populating this as an effect when the character actually equips this item. Um, in the second edition rule set, Pathfinder second edition rule set, you can see that this actually is equipped as a character effect. And we can see here this torch, the actual effect that is active on this character. If that was off, we would lose the, um, the torch effect. If it was on, it would come back on.
also when we unequip this torch it removes that effect from the character effect so equipping puts that um, that effect on it which then triggers through uh, just as if you had added that effect to the combat tracker this won't be vis visible on the combat tracker it will actually only be visible in the character effects but the system does read both for lighting effects so you can you know you could change this in here reduce that a little bit just to give you an idea of how these um, areas actually interact now one thing I've got here you may notice that this is light 25 torch when actually um, the effects of a torch is for 20 foot radius so the way the lighting works in in unity is that it goes from the center of a token so what we've actually got here is you know if I draw out um, 30 feet from the center of the token that's um, sorry but actually just just shifted off to the edge there sorry 20 feet we're talking about here so 20 feet if I just made the radius 20 feet that goes from the center of the token but you can think well if somebody's carrying a lantern they're probably holding it out a bit they're shining it around something like that you can see that it doesn't quite cover 20 feet for the for the bright light and then it's it only does you know another 20 feet for the dark light so the way I've set this up in the in the base system is I've put in 25 it, it feet it needs to be 20 in steps of, of five feet for the pathfinder rule set and that gives you you know 22 23 feet which probably gives you a slightly better idea if um, if you'd rather have 20 feet you can absolutely change you know change that yourself and where this is set is this is in the the items that are in, they're in the core rule book i've just searched on torch here you can see again there's an a next to it there telling you that there's something and there's this effect against that item um, you've got an ever burning torch here as well which has you know a lighting effect against it just like the lantern and the candles would as well so basically you know you can um, you can equip you can add one of these items to your character sheet you can then equip it and it's going to show you automatically the actual um, the light around it when the lighting effects are enabled within fantasy grounds unity um, there's a lot more to this pathfinder release 18 um, rule set functionality these character effects and the automation uh, that's available within this automation field and a number of records which i'll be covering in part the part two video of the release 18 update that i've been putting together thanks for watching